213 Rock Vinyl Times The Classic Rock Radio En direct tonight Mr. Skinny Des Mushroom Head En direct Oh yes Hi Skinny Nice to meet you Hey man Nice to meet you Thanks for having me on the show Yes How are you Skinny I'm excellent tonight. We are getting ready for a tour coming up very shortly. In eight yeah. days, we start. So, Skinny, as you know, my name is Harry Melodica. Name of the show is 213 Rock, hosted by Vinyl Times, the classic rock radio. Tonight, you are in not far away of the Olympic Games in Paris, France. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Skinny, for accepting my live invitation. Thank you again for having me. And, uh, and the, you know, the games are off to a great start. Yes, a great start. Yeah, ah, I think I guess you you, you saw uh, the performance of Gojira. Absolutely mind blowing. I had no idea that was going to happen at all, and everyone kept sending me messages and and links and all kinds of stuff. And once I got to really go get home, sit down and watch it, it was great. Ok, alors Skinny, donc il est en interview ce soir, dans quelques jours il va partir en tournée effectivement, ils ont plein de dates, et puis en même temps euh, il a vu la performance comme mondialement, hein, comme ce, pas quasiment la planète, a vu la performance de euh, récemment des Gojira en ouverture des Jeux Olympiques, Ouais, c'était complètement dingue, c'était aussi bloody en tout cas, c'était complètement fou, et ce soir donc il est là pour présenter le prochain album qui sera qui sera disponible la semaine prochaine, hein, donc des euh, Mushroom Head, et puis en même temps l'album s'intitulera Call the Devil, so Skinny, your new album the devil with a fun redneck banjo intro that's a good idea i guess yes that was a lot of fun and i have to uh, credit a lot of that fun to gravy's return on this album Mm -hmm. Effectivement que c'est une bonne idée Il y a une intro hein, sur le Call the Devil euh, Où on entend effectivement un banjo Sur l'intro sur Eye to Eye Et puis euh, ça démarre comme ça And suddenly the heavy riff hein, and the holding sirens hein, On the Eye to Eye It's the show time We are already in the mood Yes, it, it had to be the first track Once it was completed We all felt extremely happy With the energy And almost the violence that it created It was just the perfect track Number one. Mm -hmm. C'était le titre parfait pour démarrer cet album avec beaucoup d'énergie. Euh, C'était aussi un des premiers titres qui donc ils ont enregistré. Et euh, ouais, il y a, a c'est fort, hein. c'est très très fort, c'est puissant. Et en même temps, il hein, y a une énorme production. And uh, wow, damn it, the production is used. Hein. I guess your dream sound smashed the walls of your studio, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Sometimes it's hard to keep the volume down. The later the day goes, the louder things become. Effectivement que euh, c'était pas loin d'avoir pété les murs en tout cas il y a un, un énorme son ouais effectivement comme il le dit hein, je suis pas loin and skinny you work on the production with Matt Wallace I think Matt Wallace worked with Face No More Three Days Down and, and before but uh, now he work with him once again because uh, Matt work on the two albums uh, two previously album 13 and 2020 One Day Full Life I guess Yes, Matt is an, an amazing uh, addition to um, any album obviously yeah. that he works on mm -hmm. but Being the third time that he got to work with us or we got to work together, um, he really understood where we were coming from and, again, just has fresh ears and brings the project to life in ways that we maybe didn't hear or didn't, you know, think, see the forest through the trees, so to speak. Um, Matt is just amazing and not to mention he has just a sound of his own so you hear hints of say faith no more from time to time in our music that he really brings those elements to life mm -hmm. effectivement qu'il a travaillé donc avec Matt Wallace hein. lui aussi il fait la partie de la production Matt Wallace a travaillé pour la petite histoire avec Face No More et Free Those Down donc par le passé il a aussi bossé sur l'album 13 euh, sorti je crois en 2012 et en même temps et euh, Wonderful of Life euh, Wonderful Life ouais qui est, qui est sorti en 2020 ouais Matt en fait il connaît la maison hein. il connaît vraiment bien la baraque il est euh, travaillé avec lui ça a été énorme ça a été amazing comme il le dit et puis c'est savent, hein, et Matt sait d'où viennent effectivement, et la carrière effectivement des Mushroom Head, et euh, donc c'est un mec qui fait partie de la maison, hein. and the mix was done by Mr. Jacob Hansen hein. hey, uh, did you want something special with, uh, with Jacob, for the not for the mix, for the mastering, sorry yeah, for the mastering it was really cool because we had got to the point where we liked the mixes that Matt had provided mm -hmm. so, actually Napalm Records was one that suggested Jacob Hansen Uh, so that was the first time we had ever worked with him, and we were more than pleasantly surprised. It came out incredible, um, so much so that he understood the band, and we didn't send many mixes back. He got it right the first time for the majority of it. I think damn near all of it he got right the first time. Um, again, Jacob Hansen, amazing sound engineer, all of his things he works on are, are just sonically incredible. So again, we're very blessed to have that happen. 
Effectivement, très heureux en tout cas hein, d'avoir travaillé avec Jack Hansen comme il l'explique. Au départ, il les a surpris. C'est aussi parce que c'est une c'est une suggestion hein, du la du la de la part du label euh, Napalm Records. Et puis ben, Jack Hansen a tout de suite compris le groupe et euh, exactement ce qu'il souhaitait avoir une un mastering assez dynamique à l'arrivée. Hein. And eye to eye on stage will drive your fan crazy hein, because the tempo is very groovy. Yes, thank you. We agree. Um, we are really struggling with the new set list because this is album number nine. Yes. So if you take two songs from every album, there's 18 songs. And most of the time we don't have time to play 18. So it's going to be uh, hard to pick a set list for a moment. And we're probably going to be rotating our set list uh, quite a bit because, yes, Eye to Eye is one we want to play uh, live at some point. Uh, we just think it, it, it has the energy Um, that, that we want to, uh, see live as well. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, sur chaque album, hein, parce que là, ce sera le neuvième qui va sortir, ils prennent toujours deux titres hein, par album pour, de, pour bien effectivement compenser les choix. Mais là, effectivement, la, la suggestion est quand même plus difficile parce que le nouvel album est superbe. Ouais, est vraiment superbe et c'est difficile de, de, de détacher d'un titre à l'autre parce qu'il y a des choix et les fans, ils veulent des choix aussi en même temps. Donc, pour le moment, ils en sont à deux titres et peut-être voir plus parce que cet album-là, croyez-moi, il fera, il, quand il va sortir, ça va faire boom. C'est énorme. Il y a une grosse production, il y a de très bons titre. And what about Fall In Line? Because Fall In Line was your first single released in last June and the color red in your music is powerful with very strange emotions. Uh, skinny. Yeah, I agree. The, the song is very straightforward and the video is too. It's very in your face. It's concentrated on the individual characters, the masks, the emotion of, you know, the, the tone of the song um, as, as, you know, they're singing. Uh, and the color red is was a very conscious decision as well um just because it provokes so many emotions from love to hate is it poisonous is it edible um it, it's very alarming it gets your attention Uh, so we wanted something that was straight and to the point, very much like the song. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, que le titre Fall in Line, un peu comme une, une patate hein, dans la gueule, comme il dit, hein, in your face en tout cas. C'est une grosse puissance hein, à travers la face. Et puis, cette coloration rouge au sein du clip vidéo, c'est la rencontre effectivement de love to hate, comme il explique, de l'amour à la haine avec un côté poison. C'est euh, l'émotion exprimée dans le clip vidéo. This is my feeling. Hein. I think you film like the scene in, at the Vatican. That that's great. I I love how each individual person that's can right. look at our music and art individually and openly and get their own interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the dynamic are very aggressive and several changes of variation parts of the music. Yeah, it's very diverse, very for sure. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, que c'est très diversifié au niveau de la musique. Et puis en même temps, il aime bien euh, entendre les gens et avoir des opinions différentes sur ce clip. Moi, pour moi, pour ma part, en voyant le clip, je me suis senti un petit peu dans une dans une des pièces du Vatican avec ce côté rouge. Je sais pas, il y avait il euh, y avait quelque chose de, de Richelieu, de cardinal. Enfin, je sais pas. Il y avait, avait c'était bizarre en tout cas le clip, mais euh, c'est très bien fait. Et puis en, en même temps, il y a tous ces masques, etc. And um, Skinny Gravy is back too. Yes. The addition of my brother back after 12 years, yes. uh, he uh, joined us in the studio on Eye to Eye and uh, We Don't Care. Mm -hmm. um, and both of those tracks just... They came out awesome and they were very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Effectivement que Gravis, son frère, est revenu au sein du groupe Fédian pour deux titres hein, sur Eye to Eye et We Don't Care. Incroyable quoi. Hein. What about the track Yup? Yeah, you, it's just you, IOP. Yeah. Um, that one is, is very creative. You know, it shows our art damaged end a little bit. Um, but Steve Rockhorse really nailed it out of the park. And it, it, it reminds me when I close my eyes, it's somewhere between uh, in Nightmare Before Christmas meets ah. The Exorcist. And uh, there's a little bit of um, The Wall in it as well um there's some very very cinematic moments okay um it's just it's just creepy and different okay uh not yeah different uh song structure it's not traditional song structure at all but okay. it was very entertaining Ok, alors effectivement le titre euh, UOP, alors c'est UIOP, euh, avec euh, très étrange hein, le titre et puis avec des atmosphères à l'intérieur, notamment il y parle de Noël, il parle de, de fête, enfin c'est assez bizarre. Hein. Et moi j'ai une autre interprétation de ce titre. So um, Skinny, I have another interpretation of about, about this track. For me, this track is totally burlesque, from 80s century, like a French cancan feel. 
<laughs> because uh, I have yeah. a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling like um, like a French killer. Uh, his name uh, is Landru. Maybe you know him. He's Landru, and a very very Parisian guy. He was a very French guy who walked in the old street in Paris, something like 1901. And um, because the melodies are very dark, are very uncomfortable. The voice is demonic. I love it. I can totally see it all. Uh, without a doubt, and like I said, it's a very cinematic and dark That's track. That's right. Yeah, and uh, very proud of that one. It's actually one of my favorites on the album. Mm -hmm. C'est vrai que le titre est vraiment cinématique. Hein. C'est c'est le côté cinéma en tout cas qui ressort. Lui, il avait sa version. J'en ai j'en ai ressenti une autre en fait. Et c'est marrant quand même. C'est donc en fait là où on se rejoint, c'est que c'est vraiment cinématique quoi. And pre-packaged the, the new music video. There are new masks from the band now. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few new masks and uh, some fresh things to look at in that video. Uh, that one versus the, the Fallen Line, it, again, it's a little more of the nightmare dreamscape, a little bit uh, creepier, but I, I think it fits the tone of the song, which is pretty dark and aggressive. Mm -hmm, effectivement, assez dark, assez agressif, avec un côté cauchemardesque, hein, ce titre package. avec C'est le second clip vidéo avec toujours les, les, les nouveaux masques hein, du groupe, en tout cas, et aussi sur Falling Line, notamment. Le titre, le single, c'est Pre-Package. And um, another track, absolutely fantastic, but it's very apart. It's a grand gesture. I think this song's like a grand gesture could have international dimension as a single because it's totally different from the other tracks of the album. Why? Because at this moment there is a lot of war, a lot of pollution in this world. At this moment, talking about nature would be a grand gesture. You see what I mean? Yeah, that one definitely oddly relates to the current times. You know, it was mm. probably written a good year and a half, almost two years ago, somewhere in there. So um, it's interesting how, you know, Art imitates life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, c'est effectivement qu'il y a une interprétation, il y a un titre qui s'appelle Grande Gesture qui est incroyable, qui est totalement différent du reste de l'album. La voix, elle est claire, elle, est, elle a un côté très touchant en même temps, et puis je lui dis que ce titre, franchement, ferait un superbe single avec une dimension internationale, qui est vraiment un très très beau titre, avec une, avec une très très belle posture. Hein. I think for the making the music video of that track, this is my idea, I see the band on the bottom of an aquarium with a message. It's a strange. <laughs> Sorry for no, my mind. That's... That's very fun. <laughs> can you see the band in the butt of an aquarium with a message? Oh, yeah, that I actually can. That that's really good. You <laughs> should get into video production. Oh, effectivement que ça pourrait être génial en tout cas l'idée. Moi, j'ai vois l'histoire en tout cas sur ce titre Grand Gesture avec le groupe au fond d'un aquarium avec un message. Ça pourrait être génial en tout cas. Fantastique titre hein. L'album s'intitulera Call the Devil. So, just before the end, skinny. The European tour because uh, very soon you will be uh, in Europe and UK tour with uh, Dimitri and the uh, silencer and uh, where are the dates of France no I, I you know this was just a short little run to get us over there and get, kick this album off mm -hmm. um, we actually start in Germany the day it comes out on August 9th yeah um, so and, and it's 12 shows in a row And then we have to get back to the States because there's another festival at the end of August. So we had a small window of opportunity yeah. and I didn't want to wait until 2025. I wanted to get over there now. Ok, euh, donc effectivement il y a une tournée hein, qui se prépare en Europe effectivement, aussi avec Anglaise, alors ils vont faire hein, quelques dates en Pologne, en Allemagne, en Angleterre pour l'instant la France n'est pas encore là Bon, en tout cas, I cross my fingers because uh, maybe for next year, maybe at the Hellfest or, uh, or a festival or shows in Paris or, or the other town or the cities in, in France Yes, our fingers are crossed as well we are, are hoping to be over there next year quite a bit if things go well Ok, 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, la semaine prochaine, le 9 août. Donc, l'album Call the Devil pour des Mushroom Head sera disponible. Voici le track listing, Eye to Eye, ça démarrera très fort avec Fall in Line derrière, Emptiness, We Don't Care. Yup, ok, a final reprieve. Pre-Package en 6, Decomposition en 7, Grand Gesture, Fantastic Titre en 8, Hallucination en 9, Ideus en 10, Turn Into... En 11, 12, Shame in a Basket. Et en 13, Doom Goose. So, Skinny, thank you very much for this live interview. Do you have a message for the audience tonight, please? I just want to say thank you for all the support, whether you've been here for 30 years or 30 seconds. Um, I thank you from the bottom of your heart and keep supporting metal. Okay. Please. Ok, 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 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, Skinny était en direct ce soir, tout de suite le single Pre-Package des Mushroom M, l'album Call at the Devil sortira la semaine prochaine, 213 Rock <rires>